Imagine defying gravity, leaping from the tallest buildings on Earth and soaring like a human bird. For Dean Potter, this was not just a dream, but a daily reality. Dean Potter was a world-renowned base jumper, highliner, and adventurer who pushed the boundaries of human experience. He was known for his daring stunts and his deep connection to nature. On May 16, 2015, Potter and his friend Graham Hunt died while attempting a base jump from Taft Point in Yosemite National Park. This documentary will explore the final moments of Dean Potter's life, examining the factors that led to his death and the legacy he left behind. Born in 1972, Dean Potter grew up in a household that nurtured his adventurous spirit. His father, a firefighter and mountain climber, instilled in him a deep appreciation for the outdoors and a sense of awe for the natural world. As a teenager, Potter discovered base jumping, a sport that captivated his imagination and ignited a passion within him. Potter quickly became a master of base jumping, setting numerous records and defying gravity with every leap. He was known for his innovative techniques, his ability to assess risk with precision, and his unwavering confidence in his abilities. Over the years, Potter amassed an impressive collection of first descents, including the first base jump from El Capitan in Yosemite National Park and the first wingsuit flight across the Val de Elizer in France. As with most young climbers, I just wanted to prove myself. Climbing the nose as fast as humanly possible is the way I saw that I could do that. I love the action of speed climbing, but the competition of speed climbing hasn't made me feel good. You're trying to beat somebody else. And that's not what I do. At a certain point, I just pulled back. I was like, nope, speed climbing's not for me. Over the last 10 years, I broke away from competitive climbing. It's mostly been about being solo and moving on the rock by myself. Competition can only bring you so far. True inspiration and true passion pushes us further. But my good friend, Sean Leary, would always bring up wanting to break the nose record. These amazing climbers have raced up the nose, setting standards. I think he's always in the back of his mind wanted to take the nose record back. Now it's interesting to me what's possible for the height of human performance. Push myself with a partner, harder than I ever have before and move in unison up this wall and this beautiful flow. And that's gotten me back into wanting to see what I have on the nose. You do what we call simul climbing. Both people are moving at the same time. It's super hardcore because when the bottom guy falls, he pulls the top guy off. Not recommended for everybody, but with that special partner that you trust, um, usually things don't go wrong. And so it's this level of trust half hour into it, you're incredibly tired being like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to maintain this for the next pitch, but you got 20 pitches above you. At the boot, our strategy is that I run out the entire track, leaving no protection. I get up there, and now there's just a clean rope for Sean to swing over. We have this special communication going on through that rope. You can feel a little bit of hesitation in the rope, feel where the rope is really loose under you or it's getting tighter. At that point, there's not even time to put Sean on belay. I just hold the rope with my hands and hope he doesn't bounce too hard. Got, got it! As Sean swings across for like over 100, 100 feet. Gah. We're going good, we're faster than before. I don't want to die, but I am okay with putting it all out there for the most beautiful expression of my life. Among his many feats, one that particularly captured the imagination of the public was his wingsuit flight with his dog, Whisper. Whisper, a mini Australian cattle dog, was Potter's constant companion, and the two shared an unbreakable bond. Always dreamed of flying with his beloved dog, and in 2011, he set out to make that dream a reality. The journey to achieve this feat was long and arduous. Potter spent months training Whisper, teaching her to stay calm and comfortable in a special backpack designed for dogs. He also meticulously planned the jump, taking into account every possible risk factor. Finally, the day arrived, and Potter and Whisper stood at the edge of a cliff, ready to take flight. With Whisper securely strapped to his back, Potter leaped into the void, 
and the two soared through the air at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. The video of their flight went viral, capturing the hearts of millions around the world. Potter's incredible feat demonstrated not only his own skill and courage, but also the deep bond between a man and his dog. Despite the joy and wonder of their flight, Potter was also aware of the inherent risks. He was a realist, and he understood that base jumping was a dangerous sport. However, he believed that the rewards of living life to the fullest outweighed the risks. Potter's flight with Whisper was a testament to the power of human connection and the limitless possibilities that exist when we dare to dream big. First, it was just this fantasy, this fairy tale, where uh, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> you know, life isn't that easy Jeez. and that straightforward. First you have the vision, and then you make it possible. The joy we have is just off the chart. We love it up there. Will this joy lead to harm or death? Something almost made me crumble when I started putting the dog on my back. Nothing's going to happen to her. I'm ready. I'm not going to blow this flight. Whispers connected with 20,000 pounds of straps. We're good. I know the truth now. I know there's more than that fantasy of like, oh, we'll fly together. There's also, oh, we could die together. What happens when dogs fly? It sure wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It was the reality of it. That's what life is. There's the fantasy and then there's the actuality. The place I love being in the most is the place of heightened awareness. I can put myself in that state through extreme moments where my safety's on the line or my life's on the line and the tombstone put me right there and that's why I went back for years. <sighs> the intimidating part is when you place your final pieces and you're like, okay, I'm either gonna do it or I'm gonna take a 50 or 60 foot whipper. Once you're in the situation, you just respond to your senses. Crux for me was the insecurity of the root. Got really big fingers and it was hard to cram them in this crack. You wouldn't know that you were about to fall. Your feet would just slip out and your hands would peel off the edge of the crack. 
whipper. I probably took that whipper 12, 15 times. When you're in the air, you're just like dealing and trying to respond and trying to tap the wall so you don't flip upside down or hit the wall with your body. You know you're gonna be all right, but you know, anytime you launch into the air for 50 or 60 feet, it's, it's not that comfortable of a feeling. Oh! Fuck. Dean falling so big like that, if we didn't anchor me down from below, I would just go flying. That was the last move. It's scary when like this gigantic, you know, 190 pound man is <laughs> whipping through the air and you have to catch him. Oh, oh man. If I'm in the most beautiful place or most beautiful situation, it brings more out of me. I try harder because I'm inspired. On May 16, 2015 was the day Dean Potter, accompanied by his partner and adventurer Graham Hunt, a 29-year-old college student, embarked on a mission to stretch their boundaries to the extreme. Their chosen challenge was executing a base jump from Taft Point, a cliff approximately 3,000 feet above the green expanse of a valley below. The sheer altitude and the stunning views made this site ideal for their exploit. However, there was a twist to this daring attempt. Yosemite National Park, the location of Taft Point, expressly prohibited base jumping due to its danger. The defiance of the laws did not deter Potter and Hunt. Familiar with the park's cliffs and panoramic views, they had already jumped from various points throughout the valley. And so on that fateful day, they embarked on what they viewed as a refreshing yet restricted feat as the duo stood at Taft Point, ready to challenge gravity. Jen Rapp, Potter's longtime companion, captured the monumental moment with her camera. The majestic El Capitan, bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun, framed the backdrop. Even the couple's beloved dog Whisperer was present, completing the picturesque tableau. This tableau, however, masked the inherent danger that was about to unfold. Graham Hunt sporting a specialized suit engineered for speed, and Dean Potter, renowned for his remarkable extended flights, leapt off the cliff Hunt followed Potter closely. Jen Rapp captured the moment with her camera lens, capturing the fearless leaps of the two adventures. Potter wearing a smartphone strapped to his head and Hunt driven by a yearning for speed ventured into the unknown, the excitement in the air. Hunt's trajectory quickly spread out from Potter's path an unexpected outcome that would have dire consequences. As they soared through the air, Potter aimed for a notch in the mountain, the sloping rib or ridge. This geological term describes an elongated ridge that slopes downward from a mountain summit, composed of hardy rock resistant to erosion. Potter planned to navigate this notch and land safely in the valley. Yet the laws of physics, nature, and chance had other designs in mind. Hunt's movements unexpectedly altered Potter's course. Hunt seemed to steer left as if to avoid the ridge only to change direction abruptly and veer back to the right. Meanwhile, Potter remained steadfast aiming directly for the mountain's notch. This difference in the movement would prove catastrophic. As the minutes passed, the chilling realization settled and the familiar sound of a parachute unfolding was followed by a more ominous and somber thud. Jen Rapp, who stood at the cliff's edge, strained her senses to catch any sign of her companions below. She peered at her photographs, desperately attempting to piece together the puzzle of what transpired. The images held no clear answers. Rebecca Haney Hunt's girlfriend was also in the vicinity, her worries deepening as she awaited Hunt's call which never came. As dust descended, she embarked on a journey to locate Hunt and Potter, a search that led her to an empty house that was now empty of their presence, a stark reminder of their absence. Darkness shrouded the valley, but the search for answers pressed on friends and officials rallied to find any sign of the missing climbers. As dawn broke, a helicopter skin revealed the grim reality. The bodies of Dean Potter and Graham Hunt were spotted in Yosemite Valley. Neither had used their parachutes during their descent. After changing course from his intended path, Hunt crashed into a tree and a wall while Potter met his end further down in the notch. The circumstances surrounding their deaths triggered speculation. Did Hunt's actions inadvertently lead to Potter's fate? Were they distracted by each other's presence? Despite this belief, there were no conclusive answers. Investigation sought after insights from the smartphone strapped to Potter's head hoping to find clues to the tragic incident. 
Dean Potter, an advocate for the legalization of base jumping in Yosemite, had met his demise while engaged in the pursuit he advocated for. His passing underscored the inherent risks of extreme sports and the fine line between pushing boundaries and facing dire consequences. In the aftermath of the tragedy, a memorial emerged at Taft Point, a testament to the lives and aspirations of Potter and Hunt Feathers. Tibetan prayer flags, a photograph of Potter and other tributes adorn the site. Dean Potter's legacy extended beyond his death. His willingness to challenge the limits of human potential and confront the unknown left an indelible mark on the world of extreme sports. As the climbing community grappled with the loss, they were forced to confront the precarious balance between audacity and caution, courage, and the consequences of their actions. The tragic accident that claimed the lives of Dean Potter and Graham Hunt served as a poignant reminder that the pursuit of one's passions can sometimes exact the highest price.